world, there are straight men who do not like women. I'm going to explain. Let me cook. Just let me. That phase when you start slowly hating your girlfriend is crazy. This has 97 million views, 28,000 reposts, 62,000 quotes. So let's talk about it. This is going to be part seven to my most viral series where I give you examples straight from my comment section of reasons why relationships fail. But this one comes with a twist. Parts one through six of my series has about 18 million views and counting. And in that series, I share exclusively women's perspectives and women's comments, which has made many men big mad. Example above. So when I saw this viral Twitter feed, I thought, wow, this is perfect. I can now include men's perspectives. Let's see how it goes. When she keeps reminding you about her birthday and it hits you that you have to buy her a gift. When you have to tell her to dress more modestly, but deep down you're tired of seeing her body because she's not as hot as your new girl. When you cheat on her and she forgives you for the sixth time. Yeah, she sounds like the problem. When she holds your hand in public and you feel like cutting it off. Charming. It's like the more you hate her, the more she loves you back. Hmm. Let's compare these to some of the women's comments. First night home with our baby born via C-section, our newborn was crying the whole first night. My now ex literally said, if you can't take care of it, then maybe you shouldn't have had a kid. Like we didn't plan for this and have one together. Ex told me to just be quiet and watch TV so he could sleep while I was in labor with our daughter. After my second child was born, my ex-husband dropped the car at the hospital so that I could go to the store on my way home from having a baby. When my son was born, it was 36 hours of labor in an emergency C-section at 11 p.m. He left to celebrate and left me alone as a new mom. Men could come up with equally degrading stories about women. Women versus men feminism doesn't get us anywhere. You're right. Let's go back to the men's thread. When she says talk to me and you know she's not worth the effort, so you just tell her it's fine. To be honest, this is real. You'll be feeling like your girl is irritating. That's the reason why most of us men cheat in marriages or relationships. Women are boring. Lads are expressing themselves emotionally and the ladies are shooketh. I think we have different ways of expressing ourselves. A man doesn't love a woman more than he loved her the very first time he saw her. With men, love doesn't grow. They only start admiring other things like your cooking skills and perhaps social skills. Just say you're looking for a free cook. My ex-husband used to say, if I have to clean, then what's the point of having you here? When you're trying to hold back the happiness when she's crying because you hurt her. Her tears give you joy because she sneaked, went through your phone, and found out you cheated on her. When you bring issues out of everything just to make her tired of you. So instead of just breaking up with her, you gaslight her into thinking she's the problem. Men literally act like this and then blame women for not dating them. These comments are terrible, but also, you picked him. Abusive men will be kind at first. Once they get comfortable with you, then they will treat you however they want. Why is the focus on women choosing bad partners and not the deadbeat men being bad partners? TikTok is the reason I left. I learned what emotional abuse was and have been slowly ripping the band-aid off since 2020. Men, stop getting mad at us and direct that energy to your male friends and family who do this. Thank you. Grown men need to listen to the people around them and do better. A systemic change is needed to keep young men and boys from perpetuating this world there are straight men who do not like women i'm gonna explain let me cook just let me cook i asked in the football locker room once i said hey bros like what's something that y'all like about women that's not sexual or physical or any of that shit crickets so then they tried to flip it they tried to ask me the same question i said okay you know i feel like women are nurturers i feel like you can let your guard down a lot around women i feel like you can be a lot softer around women you ain't got to be on no tough guy macho man shit all day um, I feel like it's amazing hearing a female's perspective for once. You feel me? Like they, they sense of humor is a lot different. It's so many reasons that I can go on and on about why I like women, right? And like, then on the internet, right? We see podcasts all the time, multiple podcasts, and the hosts, they whole topic of discussion is just degrading women and just saying how horrible females are and why men need to put their guard up and protect themselves. And I'm like, damn, bro, like, do y'all. Like, and I don't know the name for it. I feel like we can all kind of connect and, you know, we can agree that there is a name for it. I'm not going to say it, but it's just very, very weird. We can just call it weird. That's why I'd be thrown off. Like when a motherfucker say like, oh, Mason, you a lover boy. I'd be like, how are you not like, damn, like you don't, you don't like your girl. Like what the fuck? Like, how don't you like your girl? So I personally, I don't want to put a name to it. You feel me? I don't want to get canceled, but.
I just want to say, don't ignore the signs. Like any guy that gets a thrill out of the great women, any guy that runs under his boys the moment after he get done doing some sexual shit with a girl and he goes to them to get the satisfaction and the validation for whatever the shit he did, it's a name for that shit. And um, I'm going to just label it weird. Uh, yeah. I believe that some men would go as far as getting pregnant and collecting child support if they're able to. If it was up to them, they would do that. I just saw this video where this girl was talking about how men genuinely don't like women and I 100% get that and I used to not think this way. Like I used to just think of people like on an even playing field. I thought that men had the same like feelings towards us that we had towards them and like relationships were reciprocal and they wanted the same things as us. And I've been in two long-term relationships and they were both very abusive and I just thought that I picked wrong. Like I just thought I picked the bad apples. Like their, the general population was good and I just got the two bad ones. Um, and now I have someone who genuinely is good. Like, I, and I think that has a lot to do with, he's from California, he's very progressive, pro-women, like feminist, whatever. And whenever I describe the situations with my exes, he's like, it sounds like they didn't even like you. Like, I, they sound like they straight up hated you. And I'm like, yeah. I know we can all agree that men hate us. The past two weeks has clearly proven how much hatred they harbor for us, man. But imagine your man was commenting under the thread. Imagine he was the one who was commenting the most stuff <laughs> this comment really triggered me because one time i was seeing this guy and he used to always like bring me food we either used to go out to eat or he would bring food to my house it got to a point where he was bringing like kitchen appliances to my home i don't really cook and would make food for me and like alcoholic beverages and like stuff like that and he was really nice like i was into him it was great it was a great time but one day i jokingly was like why do you bring all this food oh my god i'm gonna start gaining weight and he was like that's the plan and i was like ha, ha, ha. what and he said i'm trying to fatten you up so no other guy will look at you That was the last date we had. Listen to me, if you have sex with men, if you are a heterosexual woman or bisexual woman, you have sex. So I had a friend whose boyfriend literally hated her and for some reason she did not know, but I knew before she did and here's how. So one night we went to the club and I remember after the club was over, he was already, he was, he, he had a section all the way on the other side of the club with his friends and we had our own section. So we were like kind of on the opposite ends of the club, you know, no, no biggie, but he was all right there. So at the end of the club, we're leaving and she's texting him, but I can see him from a distance, get in his car and pull off. Me and him make eye contact. So we're texting him like, Hey, where did you go? He said, Hey, yeah, call a Uber. Um, I have to make a business run real fast. Didn't say, Hey babe, I'm doing this. Didn't do any of that. And right there, right then I knew I said, he does not like you. She didn't believe me stayed. And guess what happened? He moved a girl in on her. Man will stay with you, even though he hates you because your presence validates him to all the men and other women that he wants to impress because why would a woman like you someone who is beautiful educated well-dressed has all the shoes the handbags the furs and the jewelry that they're going to think he bought for you even though you already came into the relationship with those you bought them for yourself maybe your ex bought a few why would you be with a bum even if he pulled the wool over your eyes and passed the same fraud off that he's passing off on them, on you, and you just wanted to give a guy a chance, right? But he hates you because you're the one that knows that he's a fraud. And he lives in fear every moment of you leaving him and exposing him. So he hates you because you're the only thing that he has of value. Nothing else has any value. Ask me how I know. Ask me something is important to you or that you like something and he belittles it or ignores it completely he hates you 
she makes an absolutely wonderful point, and I have some more to add to it if you'd like to listen. A lot of the men that walk this planet that you will meet and encounter will be envious of you. These are the men that are never excited about all the good things that are happening to you. Like she says in the video, they never like to celebrate your birthday or Valentine's Day or anything like that. They don't really care to do any of that. They will belittle your academic and career accomplishments by either verbiage or their tone. Last year, for a very brief period of time, I was seeing this guy and I told him about all of my professional certifications in production and process management. He looks at me and he goes, oh, wow, Brittany, you're actually really smart. I knew then that not only was he envious and intimidated by me, but my accomplishments felt threatening to him. Your accomplishments are a threat to a weak man. He feels like he is in constant competition with you. That is why he wants to pick fights and shit with you. Your professional accolades make him feel worthless due to his patriarchal standards. He feels like because he's a man that he automatically has to be smarter than you. So he'll attempt to humble you whenever you try to present all of the things that you've accomplished within your life. They like women who are easy to manipulate and your education is just another factor that shows that you're not going to be easily manipulated and they don't like that. When this man tried to downplay my motherfucking master's degree, that should turn me off all the fucking way. He was talking about something and I had said something about, while well, I'm talking to you, Y-O-U, he said, oh, I'm surprised you can spell. I said, well, damn, don't drop dead, Fred, when you find out I can get my fucking master's. He said, oh, they must be giving it out to anybody. I said, if they give it out to anybody, then why don't you have one yet? <laughs> he said, oh, I can't afford that. I can't afford that. I'm not like you. I can't afford that. I said, well, clearly, they're not giving it to any and every fucking body because it's not in everybody's tax bracket, correct? It's from what you're saying. Like, I don't know about y'all, but playing with my motherfucking achievements... Making it seem like what I'm achieving is fucking easy and everybody can fucking do it. No, I do not think everybody can get their master's in fucking biology. No, I do not think a lot of people know how to name and fucking draw amino acids. So I'm sorry if that's something I'm not going to let you fucking play with me about. So the last thing I'm going to let anybody do is play me about a motherfucking degree that you bitches couldn't even possibly spell. Okay? Okay. Just saying. A man who makes your life harder than it was before he walked into it probably hates you. There are no masculine men out there who want to make the lives of the woman that they love harder than it needs to be. If he's abusive and talking down on you, he probably hates you. If he's a financial burden and plays video games all day, Ladies, I'm going to put y'all on game. How a man speaks to you is a direct reflection of how he feels about you. So if that man is always arguing with you or he seems to call you out your name or demeans you or tries to belittle you or make you feel smaller than what you actually are, then that means that he actually hates you and he doesn't really value the relationship. He doesn't really want to be with you. Y'all think that the toxic behaviors that these men display means that it's tough love and that he actually cares about you when in actuality that's not it at all no man that actually loves you and cares for you and appreciates you would try to make you feel like you are less than what you actually are even in arguments he would be the first one to apologize even if he did nothing wrong at all and the harsh reality is majority of the time when a guy is treating you like this that means that he is entertaining or talking to another girl or he's actually cheated on you already Guys don't just act like this out of nowhere. They act like this when they're no longer attracted to their woman. Even though he may not be personally attracted to you anymore, will not stop him from leading you on. But y'all stay safe though. If you're a woman with low self-esteem and you are like a partnership oriented person and you keep finding yourself in relationships where like the guy is just making you feel like shit, I want you to be careful of the microaggressions and like secret hatred that a lot that some of these men will have while dating you or sleeping with you. 
it took me a long time to figure out because like why would you date someone or sleep with someone that you like act like you hate in all of your other actions and it's because i'm realizing more and more that especially straight men who like don't self-reflect and aren't hold accountable that much they will take whatever they can so they can know like probably on a soul level and like that you're like too good of a person for them but they're also seeing these like vulnerabilities that they're able to manipulate and you needing emotional care you needing things from them because you know reciprocation becomes too much for them and also sometimes they just really don't like your personality like they're just miserable and don't like themselves so then they get with like women that they're sometimes jealous of and they just treat women like shit and so it's in subtle behavior, you know, making fun of you all the time when it comes to your looks, never supportive. There's like an imbalance of like how much they're mean to you compared to like how uplifting they are to you. They don't see you. It's like you're invisible. Even when you're with them, they're seeing right past you. They're thinking about something else. They're never interested in what you have to say or bring up. They like, they don't really know you as a person. So when that is happening, let them go. The sooner the better because... They don't care and they won't care. If you leave the door open, they will walk through that. And I always think people who move that way, like when they're 50 and their 60s and their 70s, like they're gonna be alone. Or they're gonna be with people like them or un unfortunately use another person. So get yourself out of that cycle. You know, I really gave this some thought you definitely want to be the ex that that nigga hates. You want to be the ex that he talks trash about to every fucking body. You want to be that bitch. Because all that that means is you was the bitch that he could never control. You was the bitch he tried to break and he failed miserably. You was the bitch that got away. All the others kept going back because they're fucking stupid. You was the bitch that wasn't phased by all the negative shit he had to say about you in the streets. You know, he said your coochie smell. He said your cooking is terrible. He said your house was dirty. He said you're a terrible mother. He said you're a hoe. He said you're a cheater. He said you're a backstabber. He said you fucked all your coworkers. He said he can't trust you, bitch. He said he's the reason that you're famous and successful. That nigga got so much shit to say about you when he running your name into the dirt in the streets. Because you was smart enough to get the fuck away from him and never look back. Oh, by the way, he also told everybody that he could have you anytime he wanted to. If he whistled, you would come back. And no, the fuck you did not go back. So now he looks stupid for telling that motherfucking lie. Cause you left his ass two years ago and you ain't looked back and he is checking and his family is checking and his bitches are checking you still ain't went back they all stalking your social media because of him because you got him looking like a fucking fool after he told everybody he could have you anytime he fucking want dumbass nigga he hates your ass because he can't control you he hates your ass because you're not gullible dumb and weak like all his exes you're just not that girl that he wants you to be you're not a weak bitch like his mama. He hates that shit. Let me tell you something. Let him talk all the shit in the world. See, me personally, all my exes, bitch, I be sitting up laughing. I hope they tear my motherfucking name in the ground, bitch. I don't care if the niggas call me crazy, psycho, um, bitter, yada, 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 miserable. Bitch, I got the fuck out. I'm winning. I'm a household name. My name rings bells internationally. I'm known. Celebrities are all in my comments. They follow my content. I'm somebody, bitch. Why would I lower myself or give a fuck about a weak nigga who, who couldn't tame me or control me? And he's mad about it. He's supposed to hate you and talk shit about you. You outsmarted him. Be proud of yourself, girl. Wear that shit like a badge. If a man refuses to compliment you, he hates you. But he hates you because he knows that you can do better than him. A man that believes you're out of his league 
will try to humble you. And I'm talking about men that go out of their way to not compliment you. Like you've been on several dates with this guy, has never mentioned anything about your outfit, your makeup, never once called you beautiful. Maybe you're also sending pictures to him and he'll comment on anything other than your beauty. Yeah, that man is insecure and he will stop at nothing until you feel insecure. Do not entertain men who don't make you feel beautiful. Do you know how much a guy has to hate you and despise you for him to see you doing good? You moved on, you got your glow back, you're not texting him, you're not bothering him, and it bothers him so bad that he wants to ruin your healing process by texting you and calling you. He doesn't miss you. He's not thinking about all the ways to make it right again. He's not thinking about how good of a woman you were. He hates you. He despises you. Because if he truly liked you, he would give you the space and time to move on. But because he hates you so much, because he despises you so much, he won't even give you that. He feels like he's entitled to your time. He feels like you don't deserve to be happy. He feels like you don't deserve to live a good life. He feels like you don't deserve to feel worthy. And he will do everything in his power to make sure that you don't feel that so he's reaching back out again. Don't fall for it. I am convinced in my heart of heart that some men absolutely hate women and majority of the time the reason for that is because they hate the fact that women get benefits and get away with things that they cannot get away with absolutely not as a man. I believe that some men would go as far as getting pregnant and collecting child support if they're able to if it was up to them they would do that and that is the reason why now it's like a thing now where men are trying to be women and da, 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 try to get the benefits you know the dressing up as a woman wearing the wigs and da 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 because you know a lot of women actually are able to get away with things and able to get free stuff just for being a woman especially you know if you look the part and, and stuff like that if you go outside you go to the mechanic you probably will get a free tire put in because you're a woman because of how you look because of how you talk and all that stuff and i'm convinced that men a lot of men not all men now a lot of men hate women for the fact simple fact that they are women and they're able to get away with things and they're able to get free stuff and they're able to be taken care of and they're able to just marry and solve family and suddenly become rich if that's something that you know you got luck you got lucky with you know what i mean but a man actually has to go to work and earn money so they can be able to get a woman but a woman can just wake up one day and say, you know what, I'm tired of this life. I'm going to level myself up and then I'm going to meet a rich man or I'm going to meet a man who can provide for me and marry into that family. But men are not able to do that. That's just not something that they're able to do unless they marry a woman who has money, which is usually very unlikely that it will happen. But unless that is the case, they're not, they can't just wake up one day and say, you know what, I'm going to make myself rich by dating someone. Or I'm going to go and find me a sugar that a sugar baby and be with her and she's gonna take care of me. A woman is easier for her to get that, but a man is not. So trust me, you have to be careful out here because there are men who get in a relationship with you, even though they sleep next to you, close your, their two eyes, you close your two eyes and you go to sleep right next to them, they actually hate your guts. Like they actually genuinely hate your guts. But they're there just because they they feel like they can't do any better. You know what I mean? And not because you're an ugly person or anything. It's just because of how they are. And it's not, like I say, this is not all men. But majority of men actually do not like women. That is the reason why they, they spend most of their time with their boys. And then whenever they're ready to be in an intimate, they would, you know, go home and do that. But it's not because they really want to be there. They, would, they If it was up to a man, they would spend all of their time with their boys. And not with the woman that they, they claim to love and marry. You know what I mean? So, yeah, a lot of men do actually hate women. It's very sad to say, but it's 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 true. It's very true. And it's like I said, it's very sad to say. Anyway, guys, that's my take on that, but I've seen it, I've seen it so often. It's not even funny. See y'all later. Why is she calling me, man? Hello. Hey.
What's up? I was just thinking, maybe I can come over and we can watch a movie together. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, sure. Sounds good. All right then, babe. See you later. Love you. You too. <laughs> Why is she smiling like that? Look how much space is on her side, but she wants to be leaning on me. I beg shift. Hey, babe. If this girl asks me a useless question, I'm going to lose it. Yeah, what's up? Can you pass me my phone, please? It's by your side. Okay, she just wants her phone. But she could have got it herself. Why, why, why must she disturb me? <laughs> now she's on TikTok. What's the point of putting on a movie if you're going to be on TikTok the entire time? I beg, she just wants to come and disturb my peace. <sighs> Look at the way she's yawning, just swallowing all the air in this room like one hippopotamus. Why must you be making noise? You, you you wanted to watch a movie. Watch the movie. Why are you making all this noise? Okay, sorry. I just sneezed. Gosh. Hey, babe, would you love me if I... Get out.